everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're preparing for an SAP basis interview or just want to brush up on your knowledge, you've clicked on the right video. Today we're diving into the top 20 most frequently asked SAP basis interview questions and answers. Straight to the point, no fluff, and tailored to help you crack that next interview with confidence. Whether you're a beginner or looking to switch roles, these questions cover the most practical and real-world scenarios. So grab a notepad, stay tuned, and let's jump right into it. 1. What is SAP Basis? SAP Basis is the technical foundation of the SAP system. It includes system administration tasks like installation, configuration, performance tuning, and managing users and authorizations. Basically, it acts as a bridge between the operating system, database, and SAP applications. 2. What are your daily tasks as a SAP Basis Administrator? On a daily basis, I monitor system performance, check logs for errors, handle user management, manage background jobs, and ensure the system is up and running smoothly. I also manage transport requests and apply patches or SAP notes when needed. And 3. What is the Transport Management System, TMS? TMS is used to move development and configuration changes between SAP systems. I use it regularly to import export transport requests, manage transport routes, and ensure the consistency of system landscapes. 4. How do you handle performance issues in SAP? First, I check system performance using transactions like ST06, ST02, and SM50. I look for memory issues, long-running processes, or database bottlenecks. Based on the findings, I take corrective actions like tuning parameters or restarting services. 5. What is the difference between a client copy and a system copy? A client copy copies data from one client to another, either within the same system or across systems. A system copy duplicates the entire system, including all clients and configurations. It's usually done when creating a sandbox or QA from production. 6. How do you perform a client copy? I use transaction SCCL for local client copy and SCC9 for remote client copy. Before starting, I make sure the target client exists and configure the copy profile depending on the data I need, like customizing or user data. 7. What is Snote used for? Snote is used to implement SAP notes. These are corrections or improvements provided by SAP. I download the relevant note, review the prerequisites, and implement it either automatically or manually depending on the type. 8. What are the different types of work processes in SAP? There are several types. Dialog, D, for user interaction. Background, B, for scheduled jobs. Update, V, for updating database changes. NQ, E, for locking. And Spool, S, for printing. Each one has its own function to keep the system running efficiently. 9. What is the difference between dialog and background work processes? Dialog processes handle real-time user interactions, whereas background processes execute tasks behind the scenes like batch jobs. Dialogs are time-sensitive, while background processes can handle long-running tasks. 10. What is the use of the SAP router? SAP Router is used to manage and secure network connections between SAP systems and external networks, especially when SAP support needs to connect. It acts like a proxy and adds an extra layer of security. 11. How do you handle user administration in SAP? I create and manage users using SUSO1. I assign roles and authorizations based on the principle of least privilege. I also handle password resets and lock-unlock users based on requests or policies. 12. What is the role of the profile parameter file? The profile parameter file contains all the configuration parameters for the SAP system. It defines memory settings, work process limits, and other runtime settings. Changes are made via RZ10 and activated with a restart. 13. What are the types of profiles in SAP? There are three types. Default Profile, which contains parameters for all instances. Instance Profile, which is specific to a particular instance. And Start Profile, which is used during system startup. 14. 
What is a kernel in SAP? The SAP kernel is the core executable component of the SAP system. It includes programs like the dispatcher and work processes. Kernel upgrades are done to fix bugs, improve performance, or add new features. 15. What are the different types of transports in SAP? There are workbench transports for development-related changes, customizing transports for configuration, transport of copies for sharing objects without locking them, and relocation transports for moving complete packages. 16. What is the use of transaction ST22? ST22 is used to analyze ABAP runtime errors or short dumps. I use it to investigate why a program failed and check details like error message, affected user, and call stack to troubleshoot the issue. 17. What is the difference between R3 and S4 HANA from a basis perspective? From a basis point of view, S4 HANA uses the HANA database and has a simplified data model. It also introduces Fiori apps for the UI. The installation, sizing, and administration tasks differ significantly compared to traditional R3 systems. 18. How do you monitor background jobs? I use SM37 to monitor background jobs. It shows the job status, logs, and duration. If a job fails, I check the logs for root cause and take necessary actions like fixing authorizations or restarting the job. 19. What is BR Tools and when do you use it? BAR Tools is a set of command line utilities for Oracle-based SAP systems. I use it for database tasks like backups, restores, space management, and reorganizing tables, especially during maintenance windows. 20. How do you perform a kernel upgrade? First, I download the latest kernel from SAP Marketplace, then stop the SAP system. I replace the old kernel executables with the new ones, adjust permissions, and restart the system. Afterward, I check logs and version info to verify the upgrade. And that wraps up our list of the top 20 SAP basis interview questions and answers. I hope this helped you understand the key concepts and boosted your confidence to face your upcoming interview. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment with your favorite question or the one you faced in interviews. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more tech interview prep content, tutorials, and career tips. Thanks for watching and all the best for your SAP journey. See you in the next video.